Nearly half of Indiana's 12,000 deaths from COVID are residents at long-term care facilities, but those deaths have steadily been going down since vaccine clinics began at nursing homes across our state eight weeks ago. Tonight, our Rich Nye checks in on the progress of vaccinating the most vulnerable among us, including the mother of a pharmacist giving her mom the shot just today. CVS pharmacist Michelle Del Busto leads a vaccine clinic team giving shots at long-term care facilities daily since late December. Vaccinations at Allisonville Meadows and Fishers gives Michelle a shot to see her 80 year old mother who suffers from dementia. She just had her birthday and we had to celebrate outside in the cold, looking in through the window, um, watching her open her presents. So it's really important that we get families back together with their parents and their grandparents. Michelle gave her mom Joyce her second dose of the Moderna vaccine. To be part of this, to know that these people are going to hopefully get to see their family members and that I could be close enough to my mom to have a conversation. It, it, it really meant a lot. About 100 residents at Allisonville Meadows Assisted Living received their second dose of the Moderna vaccine on Tuesday. American Senior Community says that represents about 98% participation among those who live here. Get it. Without a doubt, get it. If you don't get it, you're asking for trouble. The older you are, the harder it is on you. So that's why I wanted to get the vaccine. CVS is visiting 319 skilled nursing facilities and has completed second doses at 96% of those facilities. Among 647 assisted living facilities, 26% of those facilities have received both doses. CVS has given almost 75,000 shots as of Monday. So hopefully this is going to help end the pandemic. More from an awareness standpoint, too, getting people to understand how important it is. Not only wearing masks and social distancing, but now getting the vaccine. Hoping for more up-close visits with mom soon. Now, CVS is reporting that resistance to getting the vaccine is actually much higher among staff at nursing homes than the residents. CVS has now scheduled three visits at each facility to allow extra opportunities for people to get the vaccine. The company expects to complete its vaccine program at all long-term care facilities in Indiana by early April.